can have my pay No matter the attack, I won't turn back Turn back. Special presentation. Yes, I didn't tell you. All right, she's not listening. She's moving. Don't move. Don't move. Just one moment. All right. So I need the two of you just to stay. Yes, right here. See our presentation. <laughs> All right. So it is. Some of you may know what I'm gonna do. All right. So. You know, these two noble people of God have been with us for the past about five years now. And we give God thanks for them. Can we put our hands together for them? All right, Brother Raheem, make sure you're getting this, you know. Make sure you're getting this. Turn to them too, yeah. All right, so um, persons who I already told, you know, it seemed as if Evangelist married didn't know some a plan, but you know, she don't know nothing. But, when she comes to me, it's like, I say, did she know I had this conversation with some persons? And she was all like, all right, so you know, I'm sorry to go in your business. You know, their birthday is coming up in June. As you know, it's the last week in May. I plan to do this in June, but I just wanted to take this out of the way, you know, before you go plan a heap of things and we didn't get our chance to do everything. So she was saying to me, um, so for our birthday weekend, you can just find a rate for me at a hotel and I'll say, um, okay, I'll do that for you. And at that point, she didn't know that I already had booked something for them. And so I'm just going to present them with this piece of paper. And it says, congratulations for all your hard work in the kingdom. You deserve a break to be rejuvenated and revived. Because we appreciate and love you both. You have earned an all expenses paid weekend at the Holiday Inn Resort, Montego Bay, from Friday, June 21st to the 22nd. Checking in, in, check in is at 3 p.m. While you're at it, make a reservation at one of their finest restaurants when you get to the, proper, the property because it's your birthday weekend. Can we put our hands together? for our evangelist and our pastor. So you can just take this as a piece of information. <laughs> so yeah, don't, don't worry about it. It's all paid. So just go and enjoy yourself. Eat all you can. And uh, my God. <laughs> you don't have to worry, God. It's work hard for you. It's work hard for you. So it's just, so it's just. 
our brother Rodney. Good to have you in the house, brother Lynch. Praise the Lord Jesus. He was so, all three of you stand up now. These three were baptized last Sunday, and we'll be praying that God continues to keep you, put a mark upon you, put a seal upon you. You will continue living for the Lord. Comes what may. God bless you. And brother Rodney, you walk on with some folks. There's some gentle and a lady. Put your hands together for them. God bless you. You're walking to church. God bless you. Hope you can come back another time. Praise God. They made sure that he was safe. He was brought safely here. And everything seems calm and we are expected to move from one direction to the next. But then suddenly something happens that we never expected. Because here was the disciples in the midst of a storm. They did not know 12 a.m. in the morning. They did not know 1 a.m., 2 a.m. what would be happening in the middle of the day. But then suddenly something happened that they did not expect. But a beautiful thing about them being in the midst of a storm. The word said that Jesus was on the hinder part of the ship and he was sleeping. Can I tell somebody? It's beautiful that whenever you find yourself in difficulties, it's beautiful that whenever something happens suddenly I am glad to know that I've got Jesus on board my ship sleeping even if he's asleep I can always go down and say Lord hear us now that, that we perish can I tell somebody that when life gives you its struggles and they come up suddenly I'm glad that Jesus, he said in the world that he'll never leave us, nor forsake us. I'm here to tell somebody that things happen suddenly, but it's beautiful as they went down and called on the Lord. The word said, Jesus, he rose from the hinder part of the ship and went on top uh, on the front and looked at the winds uh, looked at the waves uh, and said peace uh, be still uh, is there anybody uh, who feels uh, that you've got some storms in your life uh, your storms uh, comes in different category uh, it may be a category one uh, it may be a category five uh, but whatsoever uh, category your storm may be in Jesus is able to come on 
I'm on your ship and say peace be still can I talk to somebody I looked this morning and I was so inspired as I sat there I said to myself Lord can you imagine if sister Opa ever come to church this morning because as I looked at her and through the week I know what she was going through and I said to myself Lord does she have enough strength to come to church because I know I know there are many of you today that have your issues that have your isms and your schisms but we heard the sister she has been asking for prayer for her husband and God knows what she's been doing and not only God knows but we know what she has been doing she has been laboring for her husband she has been toiling and so I said this morning God can I just imagine if sister Opa was to come as soon as I looked in the congregation I saw sister Opa she came and she was sitting but then something else happened sister Opa made that decision to take the mic can I talk to somebody some devils this morning get embarrassed some devil this morning did have to run out of TRC because sister Opa decided to follow the scripture and by the word of our testimony she chose to overcome the dragon. Can I tell somebody, wear yourself in any balance. Yes, man, you are going to. Yes, man, you are fear some things. But here is a sister who her husband is no longer in the land of the living. Can I talk to somebody? I know you're hurting. I know you're in pain. But I'm speaking a word into your spirit. The word said, the Shunammite woman, come with me here. The Shunammite woman, she looked at Elisha. She got a child. When she went to Elisha, when the child passed off, Elijah asked her a question. Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy child? The Shunammite woman responded it is well can I tell somebody it's not like I ain't got pain it's not like I ain't hurting but I refuse to let any devil steal my prayers I refuse to let any devil keep me dumb they said to Jesus get them to stop making all that noise they said Hosanna blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord Jesus said if he stop praising if he stop worshiping that even the very rocks are going to cry out can I tell somebody I'm not going to let any rock cry out in my place sister Opal God is working in your favor God gave you a testimony because you are a praiser. Somebody who open up their mouths and give God glory. Fishermen, when they want to attract a shark, the fishermen have a method that they do in order to catch a shark. They would catch a little fish. I got some witness in the house. And they would catch a little fish, slit the fish open, put the fish on the boats, and then cause the blood from the fish to drain in the ocean because a shark can smell a drop of 
blood miles away in the ocean and so the fisherman travels and then he goes into different direction and wherever that shark is he's going to smell the blood and he's going to travel in the direction of where the smell is coming from and then he goes to the point where the fish is can I tell somebody that if you want to get God you've got to know how to attract God even if he's far away just get a little prayer just get a little worship and when you sprinkle a little bridge and worship no matter where you go no matter which direction David say if I make my bed in hell that the Lord is there if I take the wings of the morning and fly into the uttermost parts my God is there somebody need to attract God you need to have an attitude start sprinkling them so hallelujah start sprinkling them so thank you Jesus quiet people can't attract God stush people can't attract God sanctimonious people can't attract God if you want to get God you have to be able to follow lose yourself get crazy can I talk to somebody somebody open up your mouth and begin to pray say neighbor this prayer is not for now say neighbor this prayer is for later say neighbor this prayer it's not for me, it's for you. Somebody begin to give God. I'm getting ready to shout like never before. All of me here has them, all of the back light has them, all who are shot me. They want you something more to shout out. Here we praise God. The Bible said his wife criticized him, and instantly a womb became dried up. That only thing, you know, we are some spiritual firefighters in a church. As soon as the fire catch up, you see them come with their fire truck, ready to open the fire. But you need to know that every single criticizer, every single one we criticize when you worship, they are and that's why they can't bless like you. But you know, somebody give the Can we take 30 seconds? Can we take 30 seconds? And give God a future praise. This praise is not for now. This praise is for later. It's for next week. Say, neighbor, I'm praising God for you. Somebody pray.
message how the messenger arrived. Committed to the journey, so me now go backslide. Looking through the spirit, now not physical eyes. Who to God me testify? Told me I the work of God and the boss. My whole life, he endorsed. Take me from the mud and put.